Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're staring at the ESDA E36 here on round three's track for ESDA. We're going to be taking a course walk, going to be taking around, seeing first shakedowns of the track. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you follow in the description box below. Let's get to it. So we are on Nuremberg GP circuit for round three of ESDA. So we're going to do a little course walk in third person first. Then we're going to go full send in the car. So we, of course, obviously have the standard start chicane. Looks like we have a very, very fast run up to our initiation to a immediate outer zone with a decel zone to an inner clip. Not sure, probably going to be doing a mid to outline and then another inner clip going right there to an outer zone there to a switch back to a quick touch and go zone to another outer zone to a long, long sweeper to an inner clip, an outer zone, a big D cell zone, it looks like, with an outer zone to the inner clip. And then we're going to probably be wanting to get it right out to that rumble strip to finish off that run. So, a pretty interesting course, and a, looks like it's going to be a very fast course. So definitely going to have to make sure we get our gear ratios and everything set right fully for this track. So let's go back to pits and go full send on this. I feel like we're going to be in a fifth gear situation with this. We're going to run this in roof cam as well as in first person so i feel like we're going to be in a fifth gear situation with this so we're going to start in second yep fifth gear definitely that is a huge decel wow that pushes you really hard you got to decel a lot there you get all the way out to there Quick flick transition. Oh yeah, that transition is gonna get you. If you're not, you got you can't be super aggressive with that. Okay, so can't be super aggressive on that flick, and definitely cannot be super aggressive in that long sweep area. So things dialing this in, figuring this track out, because this is definitely a a very different <laughs> high speed track. So we're gonna try this again. We're gonna flip around, go full send again. This gear is definitely the gear to go. I'm not deselling enough for that. Man, that's going to be a really interesting decel zone. Don't want to be super aggressive in this transition. Kind of a gentle transition. A little bit of a brake tap. Yep. So it's a kind of a gentle-ish transition. That's going to be interesting because you got a decel in that section. So overall, not too, too bad. Of course, we're going to obviously take a look at that replay because I would like to see where we're at on that. So we're going to switch it up. We're going to run this in first. And we're going to take a look at the two replay cameras and see where we're really at on these runs. This is definitely a very fast-paced course. It's like gear pull. Okay, so that's, that's a really hard decel. But that kind of sets you up pretty nicely for this. I feel like we floated too wide there. Gentle flick, we definitely went through those cones there. Probably transition that one a little bit too early. Yep, definitely too early. Fourth gear hit. Gotta use the car to rotate. Tagging that clip, and I think we're going way too wide. I'm not sure if we can actually go all the way out to that. So let's take a look at those two replays. See where we're really at on this. This was our little course walk. And this was our miss mess run. Alright, so this is the first run. I want to see where I actually initiated in. 
All right, right at the last line. Yeah, we definitely overshot that. And that definitely set us up way wrong for that. That zone was okay. That was a huge, nasty flick. That's a big decel. You got to use the car's momentum to slow down. Chuck it sideways. Throw that way sideways to slow that car down. All right, so the second run was a little bit better in first. So we're going to take a look and see how this one was and digress this run. About the second standing hash did get off the handbrake right as I exited the decel. So that's probably better. That was a pretty decent. That did set us up pretty well for there. Quick touch and go grab. Little clutch pop there just to get the car. Yeah, but we went a little bit shallow there. Huge hard transition to slow that car down. But I think we are pushing it way too wide. So we're going to go and run another one. In the current setup we're at, we may have to do some fine tuning and do some dialing in of the settings for this track because this is definitely a very fast track. ESDA round three, definitely uh, throw it a curveball. So we're going to go full send. Okay, that's pretty good. No, as I say that, we over-angled that. I got a little bit too aggressive on the angle there. Yep. Getting too aggressive on the angle is definitely going to cause some issues there. But that's uh, probably the way I want to do that. A quick downshift and a hard flick. No real brakes much or handbrake through there. So that's definitely how we're going to want to take that last turn. So we just got to fine tune each part of this track and dial it in slowly. This is uh, the testing process of ESDA or competitive drifting for new tracks. Push that a little wide. Kind of just clutched in there. See, that's a really weird turn to me. That feels very decreasing radius and radius has changed a lot. Which seems like it causes a bit of a weird a weird transition through that part. I gotta figure out actually how to run that because I feel like I I, I think I need to be wider and maybe cut that in, maybe transition a little bit later into that inner zone. Definitely gonna have to wait and take a look at the actual course map and how they want us to run it. The gearing seems pretty good. Try to use a massive angle. Let's try a midline. A little bit later transition. Okay, so that that worked out better. But that screwed me up way there, oh, way out there. This is definitely a very challenging track. It's all about momentum and getting the correct points. Because if you screw up like that inner, that uh, second inner clip, it throws off the whole rest of the run. So definitely something to be mindful of. And definitely don't do that. You really overshoot it. So you kind of want to paint that. Yeah, see, you you can't. If you overshoot the first zone, you are totally screwing yourself for the rest of the course. So it's definitely something that needs to be uh, perfect for the flow of this course in order to get it correctly. A little better. I 
feel like I'm trying to do too much angle in that section. This last turn is just a huge flick. So definitely going to need some very big tuning to find grip in certain sections, but I also might be gripping up too much. So I may need to dial up a little bit back. So this is going to be all about fine tuning the setting for this track and getting some seat time. Try a little bit wider of a line. Kind of hooks us in. I mean, kind of wobbly, but not terrible. Oh, if I wouldn't have got off the gas, we would have been good. Yep, I need to dial some rear suspension tuning in on this car. But the way this track is set for huge sweepers, I'm not sure how far out we can go there. So, first initial testing here on ESDA for round three. Definitely realized we need to do some serious changing in the car to get the grip that we're going to need. We're going to try this one in third person just for sake of trying it. Yep, nope. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> so I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Assetto Corsa with the ESDA E36 Next Level Racing on the door. Big thank you to Next Level Racing for the chassis. And of course, Mazza on the corner for the R9 NCS wheel that we are rocking. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. A lot more tuning and testing and Horizon 5 videos coming as well with the new expansion and everything. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that you found in the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back. I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>